This is part one of how to set up your core Kronos to work with Ableton. Okay, up here, you can see that I have my Ableton session. Um, so first things first, um, the easiest way that if you're going to just use VSTs, which if I go arm any of these VSTs, you can, you can kind of hear, turn it up, um, that um, I'm not using onboard, I'm not using onboard sound, so I'm using native instruments and, and whatnot. But my big thing is I want to be able to control moving through those sounds and also moving through my scenes up here, um, all from my Kronos. So basically what we're going to do is we're gonna set up the EXT button to be able to arm all of these tracks and all of these buttons and faders to control the interface. Now, what I will tell you right off the bat is that this is limiting because obviously there's only um, um, eight buttons on both rows. Thus far, I can't really do more than one set of rows as far as buttons and faders. So if you're gonna use more than eight instruments um, or wanting to launch more than eight scenes, that's gonna limit you, okay? But I can at least show you how I have mine set up to do it. So here we go. So first thing you wanna do is go into the global setting on your uh, Kronos. Okay, from there you're gonna hit MIDI, okay? And then you're going to have MIDI and you're going to have your external one and two. So you're going to go to external one. Okay. You're going to see this grid. Now, if you notice at zero, 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 everything is pretty much turned off. It's just a general channel and everything's off. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is the top row is your knobs. The area that I want to focus on is these middle th three rows. So you're going to have your switches, which are these switches, the top row. The second row is the bottom row of switches. And then the bottom row here is all your sliders. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to go to the global channel and we're going to move all of those to channel two. Okay. And you're going to do that in uniform across each of these rows. Okay. And then from there, you're going to go to the CC channel and you're just gonna go CC zero and basically go all the way through um, each one and incrementally go up. Now, what I've done is just to kind of save some time, if you go to 72, which is your external mode setup, you can see here that I have already laid it out. Um, so all of them say general, um, the channel is 2, and you can see all of them go up incrementally from 0 to 22. So what this is going to allow me to do from here is in set list mode, if you go to control surface and you go to external, all of these buttons, knobs, sliders, everything is now mappable, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you Ableton. If you go up here um, to MIDI, um, I can, as you can see, I've already kind of mapped out a lot of these um, CC notes and channels um, through here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dedicate my top row of knobs or of buttons to just launch my tracks. So I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna move to the next one, click the next button to the right, and I'm just gonna go through each one of these and click them. Four, five, six. So I'm gonna say yes. 
I'm just going to kind of go through here. Oops. So it's saying to map. Anyway, so on and so on. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is now I'm going to go to my instruments, which are right here because sometimes I'll want to go from one sound to the next, I'm going to map those out. So I'm going to go the bottom row of buttons on the Kronos. And I'm going to map them out for all my instruments. Okay, so now I have all my CC messages on the side. So all of my instruments are mapped out. So now the last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna map the faders because I want the faders to be able to control my levels. So now I'm just gonna go click each one of these and I'm gonna wiggle my fader. And now all of them are gonna map out to a fader too. Seven, eight. Okay, and the last thing that I'm going to do is I have a pedal right here, okay? That is going to be my kill switch. So what I'm gonna do is go up to stop up here and then I'm gonna click this pedal, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna exit out of MIDI mode and now I'm gonna demo kind of how I use this all from the control surface from the uh, Kronos. So I will just apologize later. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna launch my first track. So as you can see, I hit the button there and it launched my first scene. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through some of my presets. volume's low, so now I'm going to grab my fader. So I'm going to continue to scroll through some of my sounds. Now all of this is being used all through my scenes. I haven't touched the computer once. And then if I just want to kill the track, I just hit my pedal. So in a nutshell, that's kind of how you have to set it up. Um, it's a little bit of work, but ultimately it gets the job done. Leave comments below if you have any questions.